what is up youtube welcome back to the channel zero chill is coming to madden 22 ultimate team part one has been confirmed to be releasing this upcoming friday december the 10th kind of in a start of a slew of content drops we're gonna get over the holiday season which includes ghosts presents rerolls a whole bunch of stuff but my job basically in today's video is to prepare you for zero chill when it comes to types of content to expect buy and sell windows and of course investments pre promo drop so first we're actually gonna be looking back at madden 21 and madden 20 to see the types of cards that actually get upgrades and what cards to be expecting to come out in madden 22 so going back to Madden 21 Zero Show program and really just Christmas content overview, it wasn't probably their best holiday season content, but it definitely wasn't their worst. In terms of how the content structure is, typically what Madden likes to do is their first part of the promo being Zero Chill is actually not a lot of the bulk of the content. Most likely we're going to see ghosts and presents and all that real mainly fun stuff to come out a little later in the program. So probably a week down the line, maybe two weeks down the line, like before more around Christmas time basically is what I'm trying to say so zero chill last year it was a very simple and basic kind of release content wise you had charles woodson it was his first card in the game and then you got a host of basically current day cards that were either due for an upgrade or gotten a second version and then you got some of these upgradable cards and now i'm not going to go into the details of snow beast and all that stuff because it's very like up to what madden like it's going to be different probably this year when it comes to alternate currency rerolls and all that stuff so i'm not going to go into all that stuff but you can see later on down the line we got ghosts we got presents we got limited time cards you're going to notice Part 1 of Zero Chill is probably the most underwhelming part of the program, and well, it gives us actually an opportunity to invest basically on day 1 of the Zero Chill program because a lot of the a lot of our investments that we're going to get into are actually going to be cards that come out later on in the program. As I go into the Madden 21 players, you're going to notice Zero Chill, Charles Woodson, it was his first card basically of the year, but a lot of the current day cards, it was, you know, it was either their first cards or second card, you can't really predict those. Madden, of course, has these cards like slated to get Christmas Day cards, but the legends here, the legends basically that come out during Zero Chill are typically their first card of the year, they're their headliner, they sell a pack, so in my opinion, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Paint Manning, Barry Sanders, cards like that, basically debut cards of Madden 22 to come out on Friday the 10th for Zero Chill. And of course, we can't do anything when it comes to investing in those cards. However, when it comes to later on in the Madden kind of holiday season structure, we get Ghost of Madden Past, Ghost of Madden Present. But we're going to focus on Ghost of Madden Past. And why am I focusing on that? Well, it's a very easy to read of what types of cards we're going to see. As we go back to Madden 21, there was one card, just one Ghost of Madden Pass that did not have a card previous in the game, and it was a Heinz Ward. It was the limited time card. All the other Ghost of Madden Pass, we were seeing Rod Woodson, Bo Jackson, Tony Gonzalez. They all had previous legends in Madden 21, or they had just another previous card. Either it was like a Most Feared, a, I don't think they had a Thanksgiving, but like it was Ultimate Kickoff. Pretty much, if they are getting a Ghost of Madden Pass in Madden 21, they have already been in the game in Madden 21 early on in the year when it comes to Legends, an earlier day card. And we're gonna, now we're going to see basically does that trend continue in Madden 20. Again, Madden 20, Zero Chill Part 1, kind of an underwhelming content structure. We got our Gingerbread Masters, which are like upgradable cards. We got our Zero Chill Master, Bruce Smith. And again, it was his first card of the year. You're going to notice that. Probably going to see new Legends basically on Friday when it comes to the Zero Chill content. And then again, the host of basically current day players, whereas th they might have upgrades, they might not have upgrades. I believe this was Christian McCaffrey first card in Madden 20 but it's pretty much just up to Madden they have this stuff basically scheduled probably months in advance for what cards get upgrades for current day players but again we're gonna go and later on in the content structure in little to late December you're gonna start to see ghosts we're gonna see presence and again in Madden 20 every single ghost of Madden pass as I you know filter through all the different types of programs Madden 20 every single ghost of Madden pass actually had again a card that came out in the previous version of Madden 20 either it's legends and in Madden 20 a big program during that year was the Madden 10 ultimate team so you're gonna see Michael Vick Patrick Willis cards like that have Madden 10 ultimate team cards we don't really have that so we don't have to worry about that but all these cards Patrick Willis again Madden 10 ultimate team but I'm gonna scroll down Bo Jackson I believe it was Mel Blount Kevin Maui every single one of these goes to Madden pass had legend cards previously in Madden 20 ultimate team which makes it really really obvious in my opinion where we need to invest and luckily for us we don't have to necessarily rush our legend investments because we've noticed that these ghosts of madden pass don't actually come out day one of madden day one of not day one of madden but day one of the zero chill program so we actually have multiple buy windows throughout the kind of content structure to pick up these legends as investments 
So now that we know what types of cards tend to get upgrades throughout the Christmas promo, sorry, my computer, we're going to take a look and try to find core elites or current day cards and legends that are eligible for kind of that second upgrade or their first upgrade in Madden 22. So core elite wise, there are not a lot of cards left that haven't gone another card in 12 Madden 22. I've highlighted some of my favorite options when it comes to investing where they're more highly likely to get a card because Madden, you got to understand they're a business. They're going to want to put popular cards as kind of the headliner cards throughout the Christmas promo. You can't really expect them to make David Bakhtiari the headliner 97 overall master set card over someone like Devontae Adams, over someone like Justin Jefferson. So I have Bobby Wagner, Dalvin Cook, Jimmy Ward, TJ Watt. I have an asterisk because he does have a team of the week plus one. However, it's not really an upgrade, right? He's an 88 overall, 87 overall core elite. So I think he's highly, highly likely to get a card. But of course, all core elites that don't have upgrades, they're very, and I put on the screen, a safe investment. If you buy any of these cards, they're more likely, they're the most likely cards to get a Christmas card upgrade. Now moving on to the cards that are due for second upgrades. These are a lot more risky. These are your high risk. They've already gotten cards. They'd have to basically be playing really well in real life NFL to get secondary upgrades where people are just basically begging for upgrades to those cards. And I think the, the smash option here basically when it comes to investing is going to be Kyler Murray. We've seen the likes of Lamar Jackson. Basically every single quarterback has gone an upgrade in today's game. That's a 90 plus overall card if they've been playing well in real life. And well, Kyler Murray, even though he's been injured for a couple of weeks really was an MVP candidate for probably the first six to seven weeks of the NFL season now it's probably either him Aaron Rodgers you could say Jonathan Taylor but Kyler Murray got this team of the card week one of the NFL season and he has not gotten an upgrade since so I think Kyler Murray an 87 team of the week card he's really the only I think safe investment when it comes to cards due for second upgrades so there's some other names here you can take a screenshot of kind of this Excel spreadsheet so you gotta have a reminder of what cards don't have upgrades some of my highly likely to get secondary upgrades but honestly all the secondary upgrade cards below Kyler Murray very small chance. I give it probably one or two of these cards are going to get a Christmas Day secondary upgrade. So now scrolling down to the legendary secondary upgrades. And this is where the bulk of our investments are going to actually be made because we saw through the Ghost of Madden Pass that if a card gets a Ghost of Madden Pass, it's probably an 80 to 90% chance they have gotten a previous card in Madden 22. So going over to the left side, I kind of have all the legends written down. Not every single 89 to 91 legend, by the way. I think the cards basically have to be 91 overall and below, or 92 overall and below, and below to basically be eligible, because they're going to be targeting like a 95, a 96 overall plus card. That's not going to be, they're not going to go from 93, 94 to 95, 96. They're going to have to be pretty low overall. So I have a lot of the day one, the month one legends that dropped early on in Madden 22 that I think are just obvious basically to get Ghost of Madden Pass. We've seen Darrell Revis, Ladanian Thomas, and Michael Strand. These cards have actually gotten multiple Ghosts of Madden Pass in previous Maddens, and I think they're just very, very likely. Jerry Rice, for example, we've seen him get, get a yard, basically exclusive kind of I don't know, uniform pack in the yard. So he's highly, highly likely to basically get a Ghost of Madden Pass. And as well, I have highly likely for some miscellaneous cards. This is your Campus Heroes, your Ultimate Kickoffs, Calvin Johnson, Sean Taylor. I think these cards basically, some of the most popular cards in Madden history. It just makes sense that Madden is going to give their secondary upgrade over the Christmas season. Reggie Bush may be a little more unlikely, but Javon Curse, Reggie White, Derek. I mean, these are NFL. These are glorified Hall of Famers that are due. We're, we're getting Reggie Nelson 95 overall cards and Jermichael Finley 95 overall cards there's no reason a player like Reggie White should be stuck with an 89 overall card and then I kind of have the long shots these are your team of the week your team diamond kind of cards that well they probably are in the realm of possibility to get a ghost card like look sorry Ronnie Harrison Teddy Bruschi we've seen Thurman, Th Thurman Thomas get multiple Christmas cards in Madden past but they're probably more unlikely whereas the legends are like I, I would almost say most of these legends I'd give them like a 60 70 percent chance to get a card cards like LaDainian Thomas and Revis I think they're like 90 percent probably going to be a ghost of Madden past but that are those are kind of all the cards that are eligible to get upgrades for the Madden 22 zero chill kind of content structure we're now going to be moving forward to when we actually want to target to buy these cards because there's certain buy windows and there's certain days where we just aren't going to be looking to buy these cards. Okay, so now that we know which Madden 22 cards are eligible to get kind of their first upgrade of the year or their second upgrade of the year, whether that's Legends or Campus Heroes, the next part of our process when it comes to investing is we need to figure out what is the best day to buy these cards at their cheapest price. So I have basically a calendar of all the content dropping in the next week and a half that we know basically is all but confirmed. Now, some key things to note coming into next week, Season 2 is dropping Wednesday. And you notice that's the first day where there's a buy window. Now, why don't we have it Monday? Why don't we have it Tuesday? The Madden community, and we are pretty much all thinking that we are going to get an odds boost on Wednesday. What does that mean? Well, 
all the overalls, basically the overall percentages to pull a higher overall just get boosted in packs. We see it about once every month and it well, it just basically will drop the market a slight, a slight amount. So of course we don't want to buy a card on Monday. That's going to go for cheaper on Wednesday. So Wednesday is going to be our first buy window. And then Thursday is another huge day because we're going to get our zero chill reveal. You notice the buy window kind of goes away because we don't want to buy cards at an already inflated price. Really Wednesday is the first buy window, but the main buy window is going to be Friday because we talked about this going through the content. The bulk of Madden and the bulk of Madden 22 zero chill ghost cards, they don't come out till the second, the third week of kind of the Christmas day content. So you're going to notice Wednesday, I'm only doing about 20% of my investing. I'm going to be more targeting current day players because we know zero chill part one to be more along the lines. We'll see a Devonte Adams, a Dalvin Cook, a Justin Jefferson, whereas later on in the promo, we're going to see our Ghost of Madden past, Ghost of Madden present. So that's why I'm not feeling rushed to buy and invest in Legends and kind of Campus Heroes on Wednesday, whereas Friday, we know there's going to be a, probably a much larger market dip, as well as people will probably panic when they see, hey man, Darrell Revis, Lydian Thomason, you, you said they're going to get an upgrade. Well, they didn't get an upgrade for Zero Chill Part 1. I'm going to go basically sell them on the market. I want to get these new Zero Chill players. That is when we were going to buy the dip, and it's 80% of my investing for Zero Chill is going to be that first Friday. I expect a decent kind of market drop especially for cards that we'll say are expected to get upgrades and they don't get upgrades that first week that is when we're going to be buying a majority of our cards so wednesday only 20 percent target more current day players friday is going to be 80 percent of our investing and we're going to be targeting still current day players cards necessarily that didn't get upgrades but are still due but we're more going to be targeting our legends our campus heroes our ultimate kickoff cards so now we know when to buy now we're going to go into kind of the prices i'm setting for each type of card so before we actually go back on to Madden 22 and look at some individual cards and why I think they are really good investments, if you ever want to know basically what a good price to buy an investment at, you just know the overall basically, but you don't know the exact price because I don't necessarily talk about it. It's not listed in my Discord. You could always basically, you want to target a card at the lowest price or closest price to its training discard. So let's say an 87 overall right now is going for about 16,000 coins. You would want to target an 87 overall for probably under 19,000 coins. We want to get it closest to that training discard because that's kind of the floor set for that overall where they can't go below that or they would be the cheapest training and thus they'd be getting bought out pretty fast. So disclaimer, by the way, when I go into these prices, I might sound a little bit, I don't know, a little more greedy, but you have to remember I'm recording this Saturday night. The market is going to drop a little bit Wednesday and drop even more Friday. So I'm going to be really greedy with the prices. So 87 Kyler Murray, he's actually the one card that I'm not going to be greedy with because, and it's why I love, he's probably my favorite current day investment card because he's a team of the week card. And these cards aren't necessarily packed super often. We saw with Lamar Jackson. A per example of what happens to an 87 overall team of the week if they were to get an upgrade, we saw it with the Blitz Lamar Jackson. This 87 team of the week card actually shot up to about 100,000 coins when the Blitz 93 Lamar Jackson kind of, when the Blitz promo was going on when it's in his prime. So Kyler Murray really, I think under 20,000 coins is a really safe investment there, he's never going to be flooded on the market, and he's definitely going to go up to probably 50, 60k plus if he were to get a zero chill card, which he easily could get a zero chill card Friday. So TJ Watt now, core elite, definitely due for an upgrade. As an 87 overall, I would target him probably under 17,000 coins, 15,000 coins if you want to be really greedy. I know he's a team of the week plus one, but man, he's got double digit sacks this year, has not gotten an upgrade. He's in contention for defensive player of the year definitely probably going to be getting some sort of Christmas Day card. Bobby Wagner, a little less meta card. Of course, middle linebackers aren't necessarily the highest desired cards because, well, they don't jump in games. So Bobby Wagner, I'm going to set really a really greedy price up. I'm going to say like 12000 or less for Bobby Wagner is a reasonable price for him. And then we got the chosen one, the card that probably everyone is expecting to get either a zero chill, a ghost of Madden future, some sort of card. It's going to be Justin Jefferson. Now, personally, I kind of want Justin Jefferson, sorry, I'm going to call him JJ, it's a little bit easier for me. I hope JJ does not get a zero chill part one card, so all the people that have invested in Justin Jefferson are going to panic and basically list him on the market on Friday, and I'm going to buy the dip. It's a price tag, he's a little high at 83 overall, 12k. I'm going to say, because he is pretty much guaranteed a card, I'm going to say 8k or under for Justin Jefferson. And then his teammate in Minnesota, Dalvin Cook, the highest rated core elite running back to not get a card definitely you know how ea is we're gonna get plethora of running backs throughout this promo dalvin cook definitely due for a card unfortunately just got injured i would say an 85 overall target him under 8,000 coins it's a realistic price his card should be very very good if he were to get an upgrade so moving on now to the legends the campus heroes and the ultimate kickoff sean taylor and calvin johnson 
If they were to get upgrades, Calvin Johnson maybe can get a free safety out of position, but both of these cards have gotten Christmas Day cards in the past, either Ghost, Zero Chill. They would be the best player at their respective position, no doubt about it. I would target them under 80,000 coins as a 91 overall. And then we're going to go rapid fire throughout the Legends. Jerry Rice, if he were to get a card, man, he's on what? The Seahawks, the Raiders, the Niners team team. Best wide receiver in the game. It wouldn't even really be close. I would say under 60,000 coins for Jerry Rice. By the way, for Legends, probably the best buy window for these is actually going to be Saturday, the day following Zero Chokes. Again, we're probably not going to get any of these Legends on getting cards on Friday. So the buy window for these guys is going to be Friday and maybe even Saturday doing some sets. It's probably going to be a little cheaper to do. So Terrell Reyes and Daniel Tomlinson, I put this in and they're some of my favorite investments because they're part of that Jets theme team. Raiders Jets, probably the top two theme teams in the game right now. I think under 30,000 coins for these cards is a reasonable price. As Legends at 89 overall, it's really never profitable to do their set. So the only way they actually are put onto the market is through packs. So they're kind of scarcity they don't have a lot of quantities that are actually on the market so demarcus where again he's already actually under thirty thousand coins so for him he doesn't have that ceiling that terrell revis lt has so i'm going to say under 25k for demarcus where and again disclaimer these prices might be significantly lower as we go into next week so don't take my prices kind of set in stone be very adaptive. and of course this is going to be the last investment video i do with zero chill i'm going to have videos all throughout next week as i'm updating you guys about the market and my plans but campus heroes a perfect example of what happens to a campus hero when he gets an upgrade is Reggie Nelson. 89 overall, he's at about 100,000 coins. Of course, he got a legend this weekend, but the, the campus heroes that I talked about, Reggie White, Derek Thomas, Brian Dawkins, I'd say for, I know Reggie White and Brian Dawkins are a little bit more expensive because they're more kind of probable to get a car. There's already been some hype into them. I would say under 35K for Reggie White and Brian Dawkins. For cards like Jarek, Derek Thomas, and Javon Curse, I'd say under 30,000 coins for those guys like Darrell Revis at the 89 overall, like LT at 89 overall. Under 30k is a reasonable reasonable price but that is going to be all for this video a couple things to note don't panic it's a very long promo there are so many releases like monday wednesday friday content drops if a card doesn't get a, a basically a new upgrade on the first day of the promo or the third day of the promo or the fifth day of the promo there are so many opportunities to sell off these cards when it comes to hype when it comes to so many opportunities to get upgrades it's the best promo of the year it's the most fun at time of the year but this is just the beginning of the zero chill of the ghost of madden past present future promo if you've been enjoying the content make sure to like subscribe if you're new comment if of course if you have any questions and the link to the discord will always be in the description free to join you get a little more in-depth detail on some of the prices that i like on some current day investment that's going to be all for this video chiefs play the broncos a little bit later tonight hopefully we pick up the w hopefully your teams pick up the w nfl football sunday the best day of the week and until the next video peace